Hello everybody, Ministorm here. What I wanted to do today was to do a channel update to kind of go over what the plans are on the channel, covering probably the next month and a half, possibly even more. And we're kind of hanging out in Final Fantasy XIV because that has some bearing on what those plans are going to be. So, what we'll start with is to talk about Stellaris. Um, there is going to be a new Stellaris series coming, eventually. Um, I had mentioned in a previous update that I was kind of burnt out on the game, primarily because um, with that uh, Force Lord mega campaign run through Stellaris, uh, by the end of that it was just running so slow and the performance was just becoming so bad that it was just, it was driving me nuts and I needed to take a little bit of a break. But we will return, be returning to Stellaris. Um, and my current plan for when we'll be doing a new Stellaris series is after the current Mass Effect Legendary Edition series concludes. So, um, we need to finish Mass Effect 2, get all the way through Mass Effect 3. And then once that's done, we will take that time slot and we will be starting a Stellaris series there. So I uh, look forward to that. Um, next, I wanted to talk about Hearts of Iron 4. Um, currently, I am running the um, Millennium Dawn Japan Hearts of Iron 4 series every single day, and I'm going to keep doing that until that series finishes. And that's for a couple of reasons. One, first and foremost, is that the next major update DLC for Hearts of Iron 4, I think is coming out on the 23rd of November. And the free update that usually accompanies those DLC tends to break save files and also break mods. We are running with a mod. So, I mean, I have ways of getting around that, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. And so I would like to get the series finished before that happens. I don't think I will, but I'm going to try. We'll see how it goes. And that brings me then to Final Fantasy XIV, because that has a bearing on this as well. Is if you've been paying any attention to MMO news or Final Fantasy XIV particularly, you'll be aware that last Friday they announced that the Endwalker expansion, which was originally slated to release also on the 23rd of November, has been delayed by two weeks. It is now going to be releasing on the 7th of December, with early access starting on the 3rd of December. It's obviously thrown a wrench into a lot of plans, unfortunately, but I've always been an advocate of better late than bad, so if they need the two weeks, by all means, take the two weeks and get it right you know that's my thoughts on that but as far as how this bears on my hearts of iron 4 series is that i would also like to get hearts of iron 4 the current series done by that december 3rd date because i would like to kind of have a bit of a lighter schedule for the channel during that week because i am going to be getting that week off of work thankfully and um i want to play the expansion and only having two episodes a day to work on rather than three is a big a big help in that regard. That's less recording time, that's less editing time, that's less rendering time, all that kind of stuff that kind of helps, you know, with that. So, hopefully we can get Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Japan, done by the 3rd of December, and then the next Hearts of Iron 4 series will then start, like, the second half of December. Um, right now, I kind of tentatively have that as going to be another Millennium Dawn series featuring Vietnam, because I think that's going to be an interesting uh, nation to play as. Um, of course, that's all assuming that, you know, with the new DLC and update, that all the mods get updated and everything works right and all the kind of stuff. So, it is. And then it also be, will be returning to its normal Monday, Wednesday, Friday episode uh, release time frame. Um, 
So, with that, you know, in that same time frame, um, for Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, what we'll be doing is starting up a new Jurassic World Evolution 2 series, because that game just released. I played Jurassic World Evolution uh, previously on my channel. Um, I really enjoyed that, so I definitely want to play the sequel and give that a whirl. So, look forward to that one as well. And finally, that does bring me then to what my plans are for Final Fantasy XIV itself with the Endwalker release. That is, I'm going to go ahead and do it again as a normal Let's Play series, no live streaming. Um, episodes releasing once a week on Saturdays, about an hour long, um, as I tend to do one Saturday series. And the first episode of Heart of Hearts of Final Fantasy XIV um, will be posting a couple of weeks after the official release date of December 7th, because I don't want to be posting videos with story spoilers too soon. Um, after the release of the expansion. So I'm going to give it a couple of weeks and then I'll start posting my videos. Okay, I think that covers everything that I wanted to go over. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do here is cut in a video of the Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker benchmark trailer featuring my character here, Ayami Atsurugi. Uh, cut into that. So, um, enjoy watching that, and uh, we'll go ahead and stop here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.